One of the studies that I shared talked a little bit about the pathomechanism of essential tremor, and I looked at to see if it was one disease entity causing essential tremor, and the overview or the results of this sh study showed that that was not the case, that it's likely multiple factors that are impacting or causing essential tremor in, in patients. For the treatment updates, there was one in particular for essential tremor, talking about a T-type calcium channel blocker. That one was very interesting. Prax PRAX944 is a T-type calcium channel blocker. And the study I presented or showed uh, through the updates that was published by Movement Disorders um, from Scott et al., they looked at the dose-dependent reduction of tremor in rats they noted that the T-type calcium channel blocker reduced tremor by 50% in rats who received one milligram per kilogram and 72% by uh, in people who receive or rats who received three milligrams per kilogram. So they show that there was some achievement in the T-type calcium blockade in rats. This has not been produced in humans, and they have to continue the trial and the studies for that. Focus ultrasound is very interesting, given the interest in having it, because it's different from DBS in the setting that you don't have to have um, brain surgery in the sense that there's no opening or cutting of the skull in itself. There is still, you still can, you, I mean, it's still a procedure um, a, a significant procedure that can affect the changes um, and, and help with tremor, but it's also irreversible and permanent. So one of the studies that I looked at was look, looking at the referrals for people who were obtaining or requesting ultra focused ultrasound sounds um, procedures for who had essential tremor. And what was interesting enough that they, when they were referred for the focus ultrasound to providers, they, most of them ended up obtaining DBS, deep brain stimulation, and not focus ultrasound. And yes, we also talked about how there will be an increase in focus ultrasound referrals given the, the, the way it is being presented. Um, and therefore, we would think that we then would have an increase in the procedures, right, automatically. Um, but that particular study showed that there were more people who were actually getting the DBS and the focus ultrasound. I don't know what will come from that or if that will change. We talked very briefly on another. that The study that was done for that was in 2021, so it wasn't within the updates. But there was another study showing that bilateral thalactomy, thal Phlemotomy uh, was maybe more beneficial than having just unilateral. Again, as Dr. Hall mentioned in the after question discussion, that means you're going to have more side effects potentially and could have more gait or um, cognitive problems. So we'll, we will see. Another study that we looked at looked at different um sites or locations for essential tremor. That was one of the questions that I did. And they wanted to know um, if PSA versus VIM, DBS, it was a DBS um, study to look at to see if that would provide improvement of tremor. And they did note that there was more of a suppression in the upper limbs for the tremor in sites for the PSA. So that would, that's interesting than the VIM, which is the typical one that we actually use for uh, DBS stimulation of uh, essential tremor.